Hey, Kobe. So here we have that X5 here. Um, got the white, the X line package. Have those upgraded 21 inch wheels. So I'll take you all the way around here. And then um, I'll show you the interior and tell you about some of the features that this car has. So now we'll hop in the interior and I'll tell you about the feature. Okay, here we are in the interior. Got that nice cognac with the nice wood grain trim. Got your power, power windows here, power doors, powered seats. These are 14 way seats. Also, is the upgraded leather as well. You have the wireless charging, heated seats, heated steering wheel. There's the wireless charging there. So I'll just go into a couple of the features really quick. Um, this car does have the heads up display. You'll see a bunch of important information here. Um, speed limit of the road that you're on, your current speed, any warnings. Um, if you had navigation on, you will see it there. I actually have it on now. Um, probably can't see it too well, but it does display um, turn by turn signals and, and your navigation there again so you don't have to kind of take your eyes off the road and you'll see that as a really big theme with a lot of the technology i'm showing you is um bmw wants you to be able to use it without being able to take your eyes off the road so some people don't really care for the heads up display um they feel like it gets in their you know their way for whatever reason they can't function with it so um that's that's why bmw came up with the fully digital odometer here this side always stays the same. Have your gas, um, your current speed, the current speed limit of whatever road that you're on. You also have a live running map here. Um, so if you did have navigation going like I do now, you actually see um, turn by turn directions there as well. Now this side over here, you can change it. Um, I normally like to keep it mine on entertainment because say for instance, if I wanted to um, change the channel, I can scroll everything right there in front of me. Um, but I'll show you some of the other faces that you could have. Let's get that off. So um, driving mode, miles per gallon, current mileage, horsepower and torque. So different things like that. Um, it's kind of whatever you want it. Um, this car also has the driving assistance pro package so you get two things with that one is active cruise control so if you put your car on cruise control um it it keeps this distance between cars and say for instance a car were to turn um this car will slow down by itself um and then pick back up speed once that car got up out of its way to the um to the set speed that you had it also has um the driving a traffic jam pro assistance so say for instance you up in atlanta in a traffic jam you turn that on this car centers itself um it uses that um active cruise control to keep itself you know keep range and stop and go when need when need be and i'm not supposed to say this but in reality this car can drive itself up to about 40 miles per hour before you have to take over again like i said you have heated steering wheel there um safety features going a little bit in the doors uh, you do have the forward collision mitigation. If a car stops in front of you, you're not paying attention, you'll get an alert and in dire situations, this car will assist with braking. Um, side collision, oh yeah, while I'm, while I'm on the frontal collision, it does have a leg detection system as well. So pedestrians, deer, dog, anything that can run out in front of this car, that system will, will detect that and uh, give you an alert. Side collision warning, if someone's coming on, you know, coming at you from the side, um in a dangerous manner this car is going to alert you um and then in in certain situations where the car can see that there's uh, there's room to actually move over it would actually steer you away uh, from the car that is incoming and it uses cameras on those both of those uh side mirrors to to kind of determine if if there's room for you to move over the lane departure warning, if you cross those yellow or white lines, um, you'll receive a vibration. If you have the steering intervention activated, it will actually pull you back into the lane. Um, and then active blind spot, you'll, see, you'll receive a notification there if someone's in your blind spot, letting you know it's not a good time to get over. And then if you have steering intervention activated, if you try to get over, it's either one, not going to let you, let you, or two, it'll pull you back. 
Um, so those are the safety features. Kind of have that 360 coverage there. Um, so another really cool feature that this car has is you do have the gesture control. So actually this one does not have gesture control. So we're gonna move on from that. But you do have the 360 parking. Um, so with the 360 parking, you get this full view of kind of, you know, everything around you as you're parking. You can actually, I put it back in park here. You see when I put it back in park, it actually shows you how much room you have if you were to open your doors um, all the way. So you can also see different views of the car there. But I think the most interesting thing that, that this allows the car to do, it allows this car to park itself. So this car can back in, this car can parallel park, and this car can get itself out of a parallel park um, if it was kind of little, if it was too tight for you uh, for what you were comfortable with. So we'll go down here, um, and you have your different driving modes, sports, comfort, economy, pro, they're all uh, pretty standard in cars these days. Sports, the motor gets a lot more powerful, um, it makes it a little louder. The suspension gets a little stiffer. Um, sport of your suspension and comfort modes, just a balance between economy and sports. The suspension gets a lot looser. The, the motor the motor gets a lot quieter. Just to have a more comfortable ride. Um, and then economy pro mode, save gas. This car has a, a kind of a small battery, which makes it a mild hybrid. Um, and it uses that to kind of assist in economy pro mode to help save gas. And then this car has adaptive mode. Um, and what BMW realizes, even though they've had these driving modes for God knows how long, a lot of people are not actively thinking to switch through driving modes as they're driving. And so that's where this adaptive mode comes in. So it takes about 30 days. This car learns your driving routes and your driving habits. Uh, so in reality, if you drove down a bumpy road every day, the more you dr uh, drove down that bumpy road, um, the ride should get smoother. Or say for instance, you were taking a long trip to Florida and you were driving on the interstate at a constant speed, um, the car should automatically kick you in economy pro mode. It, you know, it realizes you're not using much power, um, you're not vario vario uh, variation in speed a lot, and so, it will kick you in economy mode just to save you some gas. You do have the big sunroof here as well. Goes all the way back. All right, so now I'll take you to the back. I'll show you a couple things there. A um, Couple things I did forget to mention. You do have the auto dimming headlights. You do have the automatic windshield wipers as well. So now we'll hop in the back and I'll show you some things there. So here we are in the back. You do have the manual sunshades here on both sides. Um, you do have ME lighting throughout this car, um, all throughout this car as well. Um, have about nine different colors that you can change it to. You do have the all weather floor mats for the front, back and cargo. Yep, and the cargo it looks like have heated seats for the back and the dual climate control so both sides can control their own have charging ports in the back and if you wanted to do the little ipad hookup you have that big port there as well for that i'll give you a full view of the front here you have those air vents on the side there as well and these seats do let down so now we'll go to the back here so here's the trunk that is powered. Like I said, you have that all weather mat. Pretty good space back here, like very, very good space. No spare tire here. That is because this car does have run flat. So in an event that you were to catch a flat, um, this tire will re reinflate itself. You will have about 50 to 80 miles to get to where you need it to be in order to get a new tire. And on this tire, once it reinflates itself, you can travel up to about 55 miles um, pretty safely. So we'll close that up. So this is the review um, on the car. Let me know if there's anything else that you wanted to see more of, um, or if you had questions about anything, um, and I'll get an answer for you.